All right guys, so super simple CG simulation quick tip for you today. When you're creating your explosions inside a blender, utilizing chaos and mana flow, for more control over the final look of the simulation, you can break up the elements of your explosions into their own separate domain cubes. In the real world, when there is an explosion, obviously there's a lot of different things going on, and depending on the materials around the explosion, different elements are interacting in the scene in different ways. So to get closer to that realism, we can do the same thing in the computer, and the more you do it, often the better it's going to look in your final result. So this is just a short, uh, you know, simple explosion we've created utilizing chaos and man to flow in Blender. And this is just our render of it real quick. And, uh, you know, nothing really fancy, but you can see we have, you know, both our gasoline style black smoke here, as well as this kind of dust wave effect. So inside of Blender, let me show you what we've done here. As you can see here, if we go to our top right, you can see that we have two different smoke domains. So I have one smoke domain for our gasoline and black smoke here, which is kind of rising quickly. And for this specific smoke domain we've just used the standard dynamic smoke fire with some 360 ground burst operators within chaos and then you know played around with the resolution divisions and stuff but by using those domain settings and i think we tweaked them a little bit i think we may have you know increased the heat or something so that the smoke and fire would rise quicker into the scene but essentially we use that domain for the main part of the explosion and then as you can see here below this domain we have the trails dust domain which is this you know the dust part of the explosion you can see it's kind of a different color here and for that, we've used the dynamic dirt operator here with some 360 ground bursts on it. So that's going to be a different domain. And we've also adjusted some of these settings to kind of dial in our result a little bit better. I think we may have brought up the buoyancy density a little bit so it didn't fall quite as quickly into the scene. But essentially, by using a new domain, we could have a slightly different style of simulation for that uh, dust wave part of the explosion, which is going to give that variation that we might see in the real world when creating our explosions. And as you can probably tell here, one of the best things about this technique and breaking up your different elements into their own separate domains is actually being able to use the shading to differentiate parts of the explosion as well. So for example, you can see that the gasoline part of the explosion here on our main smoke domain is pretty thick and also a lot more uh, fiery earlier in the explosion. However, you know, if the dust down here were as thick as this, this wouldn't look nearly as good in my opinion. So um, obviously in the shading tab here, if we go to rendered view, you'll notice that for our smoke domain, which is selected right now, our smoke density is pretty high. And we've also played around with the fire color ramp over here. And we've also changed the color slightly of the simulation as well, which again is going to make it look a little bit different and provide that variation. And then when we select the trails dust domain, our smoke density goes all the way down to 110, which is way lower than the gasoline style smoke domain. And uh, you know, we've also made the color a little bit more like a tan color, which is going to provide that variation as well. But uh, yeah, generally the more of these different elements you can add and integrate into your simulation, the better it's going to look. And uh, you know, obviously at the cost of speed and you know, depending on how long you have to create your explosion, you might just wanna do one or two, or you could make it very complex and add a lot of different elements to your scene. So for example, one thing we could add to this scene would be another domain with some burning tracers kind of just flying off of this explosion. We could use the burning debris operator for that. And when adding these small details to your explosion, it doesn't always have to be a smoke domain. Of course, you can add some debris here. You could add some glass particles, some dirt, some concrete, you know, stuff like that, which won't require that baking of the actual fluid simulation. So it can be a little bit quicker way to add that small scale detail to it. But just a little quick tip for you guys today. I do have a tutorial on how you can break up different domains and uh, simulate different fuel systems separately, like you see in this tutorial. So I'll put a link to that in the description as well. But anyways, guys, that is it for this video. I hope it was helpful. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions in the comment section below. Let us know what you'd like to see next on the channel. Subscribe if you're interested, and we'll see you in the next video.